let's start with our first chapter in the Salesforce development course, which is Apex Basics. In this chapter, we'll understand what exactly Apex is, uh, where it is used, how it is used, what are the different features of Apex, how it gets compiled, how it's get, it gets interpreted, and what are the different, different tools that you can use to write down Apex, data types, literals, expressions, and what not. We're gonna cover all of these topics in this chapter right now, right here. So first let's understand what exactly Apex is. So Apex is a strongly typed object oriented programming language which is used uh, on the force.com platform to write the business logic or to write a program which helps you uh, achieve a solution to a particular problem. That's all what it is. Let me explain you uh, what all of this means. So when I say Apex is a strongly typed language that basically means that Whenever you're going to be declaring a variable, uh, it should have a data type. It's, it, it's not like JavaScript where you can just use var or something like that. So you need to declare what type of data will get stored into a particular variable. That's something that's important and that's something what uh, strongly typed signifies. Next thing, object-oriented programming language. You all must be aware of what exactly object-oriented programming language is, but still I'll tell you uh, that object-oriented programming language is nothing but uh, a, an easy classification of... Uh, the classes and the objects with the help of which uh, you can create programs uh, which are reusable and for which you can create different different instances of uh, different different classes. So that's what it is. So Apex is again uh, a strongly typed object oriented programming language. Over here if you'll see, uh, uh, it is again of course developed by salesforce.com so Apex can only run on the force.com platform nowhere else and by the way it only runs onto the server. So you do not need to download or install any of the compilers or interpreters like you used to do it in Java or any other programming language. Uh, all what you need is a development org or some other tools with the help of which you'll be able to write down the Apex code and which will actually at the end of the day will get compiled onto the force.com platform itself. And by the way, this uh, Apex programming language is, I would say, 80 to 90% exactly similar to Java. So if you're someone who is already experienced into Java, it will be very, very easy for you to understand and write down Apex into Salesforce development. Okay, so that's what, that's what it is. Uh, again, it is used for building SaaS applications on top of Salesforce CRM functionality. Uh, what that basically means is like, so Salesforce is, uh, you all know what Salesforce is, that's uh, after, I mean, you must have gone through my admin course up till now, but if you haven't yet checked that, uh, there must be a link down here or somewhere here, somewhere, <laughs> just search that and uh, go through the Salesforce admin course as well and understand what that exactly is. But over here, I'll tell you a simple definition of Salesforce, what exactly Salesforce is. So it's a suite of CRM products that basically means there are different, different CRM products which cater to different, different needs and requirements of different, different organizations. And uh, not only that, but Salesforce is also a platform on top of which you can build SaaS applications. And how you can do that with different, different uh, point and click tools that are available onto the Salesforce platform and also the programming language, which we are actually gonna study right now, Apex, right? So Apex is used to develop the logic or it is used to uh, write down the code or write, like it is used to accomplish something that you're not able to do with the point and click tools. Uh, so that's where it actually helps you. So yeah, and, and again, Apex, uh, Salesforce uh, works onto the MVC architecture, which is model view controller. That basically means this database, um, this controller, and there is view. These three are independent on their own. And uh, this controller part, uh, can be manipulated or can be uh, created with the help of point and click tools as well. And also if there is something that you're not able to create with the help of the point and click tools, you can use the Apex programming language to write down the code in order to achieve that functionality into the business logic or into that particular controller part. I'll not go into much details right now, otherwise I'll, I think I'll probably complete all of the codes right now, right in here. I actually don't want to, want to do that right now. Let's go one by one. Okay, so here's a point. Apex is saved, compiled, and executed onto the servers of the force.com platform. So again, as I said, uh, it, it only gets compiled and interpreted and everything onto the force.com platform, uh, which like in nowadays, we say as Salesforce platform, right? So that's what it is about Apex. Let's go on to the next one.